Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for the week September, um, October, excuse me, 8th to October 14th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again, guys, that this is just a, a general reading for Aries' star sign. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, um, I will explain you the meanings of the cards, their positioning in the spread, but it falls to you to kind of like make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you in a, a personal session, in a private session, this is a matter of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And um, <clears throat> one more thing, the monthly videos for uh, October are already out and if you want to, you know, obviously you can check them but if you find the uh, monthly predictions helpful and you want to know even more there are extended monthly tarot readings at my website uh, that you will kind of like uh, find in those videos a focus specifically upon career and relationship uh, <clears throat> prediction for the representative star sign and the video costs just dollar 49 so that being said let's uh, let's cut the cards and let's see what uh, you Aries are going to have to face here throughout the month now the first card is going to regard to the topic of the situation for the uh, not through a month but through the week for the week uh, the second card it is about the core of the situation or why the first card is taking place the third card represents the challenges which are causing predicaments to Aries star sign and the last card here it's um, it's showing the guidance or what guidance Tsaro has for you. So let's see what you got here Aries is now the first card this is going to be the six of cups and so that will be somewhat a, a week of indulgement and a week of uh, of a satisfaction to a certain extent emotional what I mean because the six of cups points as a topic is that whatever you are to invest yourself in as a uh, effort you know or as a uh, kind of contribution in a certain sense uh, will kind of give you a emotional satisfaction to a certain extent so uh, the line of work that you are going to do at your job is going to be something of your liking and most likely with having this card it will be something that you can uh, express yourself quite creatively so this week is going to be very beneficial for artists writers um, you know people who are making um, making their living out of art and out of their creative job and um, this card as well suggests that now uh, at this specific week uh, you will have the opportunity here to more indulge yourself with the small things in life which are creating rather spontaneous happiness than uh, looking forward into something so most likely you will concern it will be advisable should I say for you to be concerned more upon what it is right now and you should not concern yourself with what is furthermore or with what will be excuse me furthermore so one more thing I want to say about here, uh, the Six of Cups, when it comes to human interactions here and in general interactions with human beings, this card points that, uh, that these interactions will not be just on an emotional level but as well on a physical level either. So these people that you will have the chance to interact with, they will also kind of breed a, a, a physical security for the lack of better terms uh, in your environment and one more thing that comes to my mind here is, is that for example if you want to select a pet of yours that you want to buy uh, roaming around the uh, zoo shops in your in your area it is uh, likely that you are going to stumble upon that being which is going to make your heart pumping and this is what we're talking about that you will have an emotional and physical connection with the being that you are interacting and the core of the situation here that we do have this is going to be the ten of pants uh, the ten of swords excuse me I a very positive manifestation of the ten of swords is what we do have here as a matter of fact I 
haven't until this very moment probably or that or or I don't remember haven't saw that card in such a positive manifestation because the ten of swords here points that you did some a, a, a or you are about to do a, a vast retrospection of uh, what happened in the recent past and maybe in the distant past as well and uh, you are to recognize guys you know what went wrong and why you aren't feeling as happier as you are supposed to despite of how rich you are or how beloved as well you are etc etc and that card itself is going to uh, make you to to draw a line and as I said, do a retrospect, uh, a retrospect of the of, of the previous events and the previous uh, undertakings of yours. And from there, what you're going to extract as an information is what is most ne necessary for you and what 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 are the values for you to find yourself emotionally fulfilled and happy. Therefore, it is likely that as well this week is going to involve some drastic measures that you are going to take toward your personal happiness and not about the happiness of your environment, which is very important. And here we are talking as well about your personal happiness. So uh, how this card could manifest will some people may decide that they don't enjoy any more the line of work that they are doing and that's why they will prioritize more creative approach toward their career you are not talking here about the work itself but we're talking about the career in in another words you will you are going to slay a big portion of uh, of the negativity within you or how um in a more biblical term you are going to slay an evil within uh, and that as well is going to uh, kind of make you, without even you consciously understanding it, to, to do some uh, very drastic measures, as I said, and take some ir ir irrevocable decisions which ultimately are going to serve in your favor. Uh, and then what we do have as the next card, this is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments so the ace of the eight of pentacles is a card of patience and is a card of uh, of mastering one's environment and in that specific case how it how it incorporates itself this card points that maybe it's going to be hard for you to kind of like see any future in the distant future if that makes any sense because uh, as i said at the start you will be more focused upon what is happening now and not give much of a damn about what is going to be in the future <clears throat> And as a challenge, it will be difficult for you to open, let's say, to open yourself for new possibilities and for new uh, fields of where you can take place and start growing, start thriving in that specific place, like a new lines of work, you know, maybe uh, if you are finding yourself here quitting your job, maybe you are going to reprioritize, you know, finding the same kind of job once again, while the Eight of Pentacles points the doubt that the challenge will be for you to recognize that you may be good at something else, you know. And same goes if you just reprioritize one project over another. And when we talk about human interactions, or let's say a, a living being interactions, that card rather specifically focus upon the distant future kind of like creating plans for the distant future so this these cards especially if you're single let's say uh, kind of doesn't lead exactly to uh, a prerequisite of creating a certain relationship it more like speaks for having fun at this very moment and if things happens they 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 happen in general you know but if they don't happen that's fine as well i mean a, another person is going to come into my life um, <clears throat> this is very natural having these cards to be taught from your behalf various is because you have just slayed a certain evil within you and uh, you are about to discover a life from a, a a completely different light and from from completely different angle and maybe you are just checking on the soil what is go what is going there to be um, planted and what is going to start growing at that specific place but anyway our uh, hopes and dreams should not be abandoned even though you may find it challenging to have them and to create them for yourself you know and therefore it will be beneficial if here or there you kind of make a some even vague if they have to be plans for future 
and then what we do have that will be the world card as a guidance the tarot has for you so the world card uh, advises you a couple of things the first thing is that you should kind of make a clean break with the past that is also advised here with the ten of swords because even if the ten of swords signifies it manifests itself in a very negative way as a, a forceful ending of something what you need to know here especially having the world the world as advice is that the forceful ending is a prior to the natural ending so whatever ends a relationship or a, a job etc etc uh, even if um, in not uh, the present circumstances eventually would have end all right and the fact that you realize that this is something obstructing you from uh, experiencing the very primal uh, happiness you know from the small things in life it is a good prerequisite for you to just live in on your own accord <clears throat> therefore the world suggests as I said, for you to make clean break with the past, be resigned about what happened and be resigned about what is happening right now and just try to enjoy as much as you can, you know, to small things in life. And furthermore, you have to be open for the new perspectives here as well because the world as advice, it kind of gives us a hint that uh, something beautiful is about to happen to you Aries and you have to be completely liberated from the burdens that you have been carrying thus far and you need to have a room there to accept it either a new love you know or a new job um, a new responsibilities which will be something you should glad you you would gladly take excuse me etc etc the world card promises you that this week is a week of liberation and of, of kind of like charging yourself with positive energy here enjoying and indulging yourself in the creativity you know or, or in the human interactions because the best is yet to come and let's see now what the Lenormand card has to say for you now the Lenormands are likely to express or to show a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid just let me shuffle them really well so uh, let's see what we got here let me cut them now the first card that we do have this is going to be the Sun card then the next card that will be uh, the uh, the snake and the last one that we do have that's that is going to be the key so uh, the Sun stands for great amount of luck success and growth what we talked about here then uh, the, the uh, snake stands for betrayal um, lies deception deceit evil it stands for evil and uh, the last one it stands for access closing or opening here or a, a finding it's kind of like a discovery as well so throughout their great amounts of success and um, uh, throughout a great amounts of luck as well should I say and under success I mean the general uh, succession of one being capable to enjoy life you are going to understand what kind of an evil that we do have here needs to be uh, kind of closed or rather open yourself so the evil can simply leave you and that evil could be something you know because everybody holds an evil within i mean i hold an evil within um, my brother for example holds it my mother uh, everybody has a certain evil within and that evil needs to be slain right now either that evil is going to be a an unyielding standpoint regarding a certain matter you know being stubborn or being rude to to certain people etc etc what is important with this reading is to recognize that this kind of standpoints doesn't serve anybody's favor i mean it's just a waste of energy uh, where it is just that energy is directed to a, a pointing finger. It is no different than, for example, a line of work where uh, as soon as there is a problem, what is the first thing that people do? They are trying to point the blame upon someone, wasting energy upon that instead of focusing that energy upon solving the issue. And this is what you're going to do here, guys, recognizing there are certain energies which are going through you, you know, toward directed towards a certain thing or something. It's they're they're totally, you know, misdirected here because these energies are uh, created from a an evil within. 
and you're going to break ties with that certain evil. So congratulations, you will enjoy life like never before. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 8 to September 14, 2018. I hope you are October, excuse me, why I'm always thinking that this is September. Anyway, October 8th to October 14th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this is a general interpretation of the tarot for the star sign of Aries. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, I explained you the meanings of the cards. I explained you the synergy in the sprite but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you in a reading regarding a certain matter of yours then this is a a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings rat signing out now see you next time bye